Great morning, everybody. I'm Marilyn Parker. Thank you so much for joining us on The Morning Show Plus. And I have a very, very special guest with me this morning, Vic. You're the special one. No, 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 no. It's all about yeah. you. I'm in the presence of royalty. <laughs> no, The Marilyn stop. Parker, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. This guy. <laughs> Don't go to acting out because today's your last day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How are you feeling? It's, it's bittersweet. So I, yeah. I'll be honest, I didn't really sleep much last night. No. It's... I'm feeling gratitude. Yeah. I'm feeling so thankful for this wild, wild ride. And when I say wild, you don't <laughs> even know half of it with, with what goes on behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, but I, I look at all the people that, that surround us that make this happen, and I'm like, my goodness, these are some some amazing people. You Definitely. know, you, you hear about all this hatred for the media and the press and stuff like that, and I'm like, this station is filled with people from all walks of life all different backgrounds, all different beliefs, and, and, and we come together for the common good. And it just shows how important local news is, you know. And right. I've heard from, from so many of our, our loyal, loyal viewers. I mean, thousands, literally thousands of people have reached out. And, you know, I, I, I'm sorry I had to put my phone on Do Not yeah. Disturb for a while. Um, a little so overwhelming. I'm, I'm sorry to everybody that I haven't gotten back to. Like, I, I'm trying to. Yeah. Um, but it, overwhelming is a great word there. Absolutely. And, uh, what a what a journey it has been. I mean, we've gone all over the world, but at the end of the day, wherever we were, it was it was about our community, our, community. our local community, North Florida, South Georgia. Right. You've been all over the world. You talked about some wild moments. Can you give us your top five moments in your top history here moments. at Channel Four? Yeah. So, honestly, the I Team stories, yeah. right? Those are the most rewarding. Those are the most impactful. We have one that's that's I'm working on today. Yes. <laughs> I'm not out. I actually extended my time here at News for Jacks to finish some of those stories. Oh my stories. gosh! Always uh, working. Look at yeah. this. You can't even leave when <laughs> you're supposed to leave. Other reasons. <laughs> other reasons too. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> but um, but I, I I wanted to stay to see those through. Okay. So even after <laughs> even after I do my final sign off tonight, there's going to be some stories that are going to be popping up. The impact. I mean, just. Just yesterday, we were able to get a family some justice after a contractor took their money, didn't finish the job. And, yeah. and the amazing, amazing people in our community stepped up and they said, we're going to do what that contractor yeah. didn't do, and then we're going to go above and beyond. Amazing. Uh, a, a man that was in the hospital uh, and then discharged and left on the side of the road with a, a broken leg. Mm -hmm. We've got a good update on him today he's talking to his family every day wow and he's doing great and his name is Mohammed it's a it's a big story it happened on Jacksonville Southside and since we did that story I, I spoke with one of his friends yesterday they say a hundred people went and visited him at the hospital or in rehab holy cow the Moroccan consulate from New York now don't ask me all the details there but <laughs> literally flew down this yeah. past week to, to get that man paperwork Amazing. and fingerprints and benefits so that's that's yeah. the community. That's, yeah. you know, in my opinion, that's God working. But absolutely, we, we all have a career and, and we got to do it. Okay, so absolutely. so that's that's one of the things, right? Right. And then it's <laughs> the adventures, um, embedding with all of these law enforcement agencies, mm -hmm. search and rescue agencies, first responders, doctors, nurses, National Guard members. That's incredible, right? Yeah. To and what a fortunate thing it is for us as journalists to be able to to get a taste of what life is like for them and then also to be able to share that glimpse with our viewers so you know from the the local agencies to the state agencies to the federal agencies to these nonprofits, that's been great uh, the morning show has been such a platform and i know i stress people out because we bring in so many guests from our community so right. many nonprofits, so many organizations you know every day we've got just really, really interesting, amazing people that, that come mm -hmm. in. And, you know, from the from the nonprofit world, innovators, free thinkers, adventurers, people that just have given back. You know, people are always like, Who's the most famous person you've interviewed? What what's been the, the biggest thing? I'm like, yeah, like I've well I've I've yelled questions to presidents, not the right answer. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, some of the, the, the top celebrities in the music world and, and, and some of the biggest names in business, billionaires, right? right. I interviewed them. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool, right? But what's important is the, the, the people that, that just live in our community. Right. That just want it to be better. And if you can do one thing to, to make it better and to be able to hear from people that I've been able to meet over the past 
14 years as a staffer, 16 years from the internship. I've heard from people like way, way, way back when. Yeah, and jogging your memory that's, a little bit. That's awesome. Yeah. And I always say, I think half of this city has my cell phone number. <laughs> uh, because that's a it, lot. It, it just <laughs> never stops. And, and while <laughs> it can be a little, whoa. Right, a little bit much. Head spinning, it's, it's such an honor. Mm -hmm. so, such a tribute. I mean, I, I heard from somebody as far as the Philippines. Oh, wow. You know, and I, I covered his case, Ron Davis, the, okay. the Jordan Davis case. Yes, yes, yes. Came. You know, the, the Bailey family, the Bridegan family. Yes. Uh, just uh, the, the Clifton family. If, if you just think about, I, I don't want to even keep listing it because there's so many. There's so many. And, you know, that's, that's the ultimate thing. And, and sometimes you can't really do anything physically for them, especially for these grieving families, Marilyn, but you can be there, you can show them respect, right. you can tell their loved one's story with honor and with dignity. Mm -hmm. And that's an honor and that's a privilege. And, and that's something that you know, we continue to do. You know? right. Right. It's, it's like th there's so many journalists in this community that are not just talking heads that are out there that are, that are doing it right. And, and I hope they continue to do it. You know, treat everybody, everybody with respect. Absolutely. Yeah. What's some advice that you would give to journalists, you know, because we have such a huge role in the way that yeah. you've filled this community with your heart and, you know, your passion. It's admirable. So what's some advice that you would give to people to continue to cover this community the way it deserves? Mm -hmm. Step back. Listen. That can be hard for me, right? An Italian guy that's a little, <laughs> a little strong nature. But, but listen to what's around you. Right. And understand and respect differences mm -hmm. and give everybody a fair shake and let everybody have their voice and also be skeptical mm -hmm. right question hold, everything. hold people bull accountable if you're great at that Thanks. <laughs> i don't want to be on the wrong end of no. <laughs> parker's questions right but just just do that and you know so many people say i don't want to get in the business because i don't have the skill set this and that well neither did i mm. <laughs> when i started right but I, I came in i watched a lot of tv right tv news right. read a lot of newspapers from all across the country and the world and and i found people that i just really admired and didn't really want to emulate but wanted to kind of build my own style so so find that style right and at the end of the day like be human yeah you know, I think you know some people in journalism school would say, "Oh, well, you can't hug a subject, and you can't do this, and you can't high five." I'm like, just get out there and do it. Right. Um, we're in the same community right. as everybody else, right? And we're, we're all humans, and everybody has a role to play in this world. So, at the end of the day, be human. Mm -hmm. And if you need to turn the cameras off, turn the cameras off. Right. Not everybody wants to tell their story, and that's okay. And, um, you know, for all these families that have told their story, there's been a lot of families that I've been in contact to that have just not. And right. And we all grieve differently. We all handle things differently. And that's okay. So uh, for the journalists, and, and, and keep pushing, right? Like yes. I, I remember going to UF, Go Gators, right? Uh -huh. And there were some kids that were like, I started my junior high TV news program. I did this, you know. My dad is the main anchor at some giant station, you know, and my family's networks and and I was like wow that's intimidating I'm just some kid that's kind of scared to be in front of a camera <laughs> and I kind of learned it from from my family and my grandfather came over as an immigrant and um, kind of learned it like you might not have those that background or those mm -hmm. skills or, or whatever it is or, or necessarily the same kind of talent but you can always outwork somebody. Right. And you can out hustle somebody that's and you right. can show more passion. And that's what it was. And I have to give a shout out to Richard Nunn, our chief meteorologist. Yeah. Uh, longtime friend. I have to give a shout out not to Richard, <laughs> but to his wife, Cindy. Oh, okay. Because when I first started, it, it's really funny, Marilyn. When I first started, like I came, I was like skinny, pale mm -hmm. kid, fresh out of school. And, um, Everybody was emailing like, uh, what's this intern doing on TV, right? And I was like, no, I'm a real reporter. I'm a real Aww. reporter. Take me seriously. And, and it was intimidating. And, and for a little bit, you know, there were a lot of people that built me up. But there were, there were people that tried to break me down. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. In the industry, like literally, like longtime people in the industry mm -hmm. and, you know, the community. And you, you
you latch on to the good. So what, right. what Cindy Nunn taught me was just get into that community and show them love and they will love you back, right? Awesome. So, you know, we get MC requests. Yes. Like people that ask us to come out and make appearances in the community. Right. Well, <laughs> they would send them and, and you know, our, our main anchors, the big names here, the legends here at the station, like they were either on air or they were mm -hmm. out of town, they weren't able to do it. So I'd be like, I'll do it. Right. So sometimes I would show up to these these little charity events, these nonprofit events, and people would be like, um, where's the news guy? Oh. Where's Channel 4? I'm like, hi, it's me. And they're like, is this a joke? No. No. But I would grab the microphone. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, right. right. But I started to connect with them. And then on a roll, and, and since then, it's been hundreds of charity events, mm -hmm. more than... Ten million dollars that we've been able to raise together. Wow. That's like a conservative estimate because the truth is I, I don't know. But just millions of dollars, hundreds of charity events, tens of thousands of people that we've been able to to speak in front of and, and reach out to. And, and it's the people that sometimes are not the people that uh, would be watching our show or right. on our streaming service, right? right? The people that are hard. But that's how you meet them. Yes. And uh, that's how you convert lifelong viewers. Absolutely. Well, listen, you are such an inspiration. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time today. We love you, Vic. Uh, we hate that we're saying goodbye, but we know we're not going, you're not going no, too no, no. far. Yeah. Um, we appreciate you guys. And also, be sure to stay with us. There's a lot of going on in our weather today, and we're going to continue honoring Vic all day. Uh, News for Jacks 4, 5, and 6.